Even though we achieved all these great scientific and technological outcomes, no one had any access to it. And so what we have to make certain in technology for good is good means for good for the greatest number, not good for the few. The challenge that we have here at ASU is focusing in on our charter commitment to helping students succeed and the tools to get there fundamentally include the use of technology. Certainly technology is advancing at a more rapid pace than we've ever seen in history. If you lean into that, you have an amazing opportunity to have a very large impact. We have to find a way to continue to evolve our universities. We have to find a way to continue to evolve how and why we produce knowledge, or we will not be able to attain the kinds of goals that we'd like to achieve. We're focused on where the future takes us. That typically involves a deep engagement with technology. What we're after is how can we find ways to accelerate learning, diversify learning, using tools, using techniques to produce a whole new kind of future leaders who are trained and capable of thinking in new ways. The way ASU thinks about AI is that there's nothing artificial about AI. It's actually about augmenting human intelligence. We're trying to figure out these technology tools. How do we deploy them instead of shut them down? Because these tools have the ability to become massive machines that can be your personal assistant on the side. If I can build a tool that can give an intelligent agent to every single learner and tie it into their curriculum so that they can constantly ask whatever question they need to ask, why wouldn't we do that as instantly as we could possibly do that? I'm seeing technology going beyond the education system and making life more efficient generally. Arizona State University is a very brave place. We're trying things that people have never tried before in a way that's breaking the mold. One of the projects that we're really particularly proud of right now is we're building a particle accelerator that instead of taking a mile and a half of space, and $2 billion to build will fit in the basement of a research building. There are only five X-ray free electron lasers in the entire world. The newest innovation in XFEL technology is here at ASU. It will allow us to take movies of molecules in action. So we'll be able to look at a cancer treatment and see how it binds to tumors and what it does. It's really an aperture into the physical world that we haven't had before. This idea of technology for good, I think, is something that starts in the way ASU thinks about research. But then the next piece of technology is how it's going to be applied and what it will do to create jobs for the future. TSMC is building a big fab. We wanted proximity to engineering talent. And ASU has the largest engineering talent pool in the United States. This is a revolution in manufacturing in the United States. There's been a recognition that from a economic perspective and independence, as well as national security, we need to be developing and manufacturing these chips in the U.S. Central is the ability to be agile, to actually scale the work that we do. And the only way to get there from here is actually to not only embrace technology, but actually push technology to the very forefront of the art of the possible. There's no institution that has embraced technology for good as the central reason that we're advancing technologies, the central purpose of our overall intellectual design. ASU allows technology to be leveraged for good for posterity and in perpetuity.